ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ um you're you're watching the seek channel on 840 840 te aap ji seek channel vekh rahe ho te world wide web te vi tusi sanu vekh sakde ho aaj apne kol bahut jyada ek important program hai dastar de utte the right to the turban campaign now jehda aap ji you will probably know um history of this uh, program 911 to baad ਬਹੁਤ ਮੌਲਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਕਾਨੂੰਨ ਟਾਈਟ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੇ ਫਰਾਂਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ 2004 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਨ ਦ ਈਅਰ 2004 ਇਨ ਫਰਾਂਸ ਦੇ ਮੇਡ ਅ ਲਾਅ ਬੈਨਿੰਗ ਅ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਸਾਈਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਿੰਬਲਸ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਕਹ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਇਫੈਕਟ ਪਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਸਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਫਰਾਂਸ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਟੁਕ ਇਟ ਵਨ ਸਟੈਪ ਫਰਦਰ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਪਾਸਪੋਰਟ ਦੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਰਿਨਿਊ ਕਰਨ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਫੋਟੋਆਂ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਪਾਂ ਖਿਚਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਉਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਲਾਉਣੀ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਪਾਸਪੋਰਟਾਂ ਤੇ ਆਈਡੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਈਵਨ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਹ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਡਰਾਈਵਿੰਗ ਲਾਇਸੈਂਸ ਆ ਤੇ ਕਾਨੂੰਨ ਇਦਾਂ ਦਾ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਕਿਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਵਾਰੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਆਈਡੀ ਦਿਖਾ ਲੈਣੀ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਹਾਊ ਮੈਨੀ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੋ ਯੋਰ ਆਈਡੀ ਯੂ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੈਟ ਪਿਕਚਰ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਇਫ ਅ ਪੋਲਿਸਮੈਨ ਸਟਾਪਡ ਯੂ ਇਨ ਦ ਇਨ ਦ ਰੋਡ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੋਡ ਹਿਮ ਦ ਪਾਸਪੋਰਟ ਯੂ ਦੈਨ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਰਿਮੂਵ ਯੋਰ ਟਰਬਨ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਫੋਟੋ ਮੈਚ ਕਰਨੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਤੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਆਪਣਾ ਫਰਾਂਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਹ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਦਾ ਨੁਕਸਾਨ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੇ ਉਦੋਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਹ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਨੇ ਰਣਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਸ਼ਿਗਾਰਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਰਿਫਿਊਜ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਕਰਨੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਕਹ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਕੇਸ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਫਰਾਂਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਹਰ ਗਿਆ ਸੀਗੇ ਫਿਰ ਯੂਰੋਪੀਅਨ ਕੋਰਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਗਈ ਤੇ ਯੂਰੋਪੀਅਨ ਕੋਰਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਹ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਬਾਲਾ ਸਕਸੈਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਯੂਐਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਕਹ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੋਈ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਹੈਗਾ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਬੈਕਗ੍ਰਾਉਂਡ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਾਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਨੌਜਵਾਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਬਿਕਮਰਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਰਿਫਿਊਜ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਦਸਤਾਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਾਉਣੀ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਕੂਲ ਤੋਂ ਕੱਢਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੇ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਦੇਖੋ ਉਸ ਨੌਜਵਾਨ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਧਰਮ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮੇਨ ਚੀਜ਼ ਆ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਛੱਡਣੀ ਸੋ ਯੂ نو ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਰੀਅਲ ਵਾਰੀਅਰ ਸੂਰਾ ਸੋ ਪਛਾਣੀਏ ਜੋ ਲੜੇ ਦੀਨ ਕੇ ਹੇਤ ਪੁਰਜਾ ਪੁਰਜਾ ਕਟ ਮਰੇ ਕਬੂ ਨਾ ਛਾਡੇ ਖੇਤ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਈਅਰ 2008 ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੀਰਿੰਗ ਅਮ ਦਾ ਵਰਡਿਕਟ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਗਈ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਟੁਡੇ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਸੰਦੀਪ ਕੌਰ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸੀਕਸ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਬੇਟਾ ਆਈ نو ਯੂ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸੀਕਸ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਹੈਵਲੀ ਇਨਵੋਲਵਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਹੋਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਈਅਰ 2004 2004 ਤੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਾਫੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਨਵੋਲਵਡ ਆ ਪਰ ਬਾਹਰ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਫੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਾ ਕਿ who are united seeks so in in, in a brief if you could tell us uh what is united seeks and what do they do yeah. um united seeks um we were established about 12 years ago um soon after 9/11 um okay. there's a lot of issues um happening in america where seeks that our identity was um at danger in a in a way it was a massive problem mm. so many people were not realizing that a seek is somebody who's wearing a turban and you know there's a false identities mix match Cheek. So we built the organization and um, whereby now the organization's grown into we have like offices all over the world. Okay. Um we deal in three areas. We mm. deal with international civil human rights. Cheek. And um obviously such as the case of France. Mm. So we have like a legal team and then we have our humanitarian aid. So mm. any anywhere there's
It's a very historic moment uh, yeah. either way. Mm -hmm. um, how did you first, how did United Sikhs first get involved in this, <coughs> uh, this case back in uh, 2004? Yeah, well, first of all, our legal team, so uh, obviously everyone knows our legal director, Majin the Barkor, mm. um, were at the forefront of this campaign of right to turban and where we were dealing with Ran Ranjit Singh, the 76-year-old, and um, we had the victory in January 2012, Chief. so the start of this year, where um, the United Nations Human Rights Committee declared that France had violated Ranjit Singh's human rights uh -huh. um, against like his, his turban um, on his ID. Hmm. So that was a, a great victory for us because we've been working like tirelessly 24 hours a day mm. on cases such as this mm. and you know we finally received that victory and it was an amazing success that no matter how hard we try we finally got justice you know what it's a very important question because you don't see on france they which up a leg again the european court they you like again for you and they you like there must be a big cost there um and who's who's funding this is it sangat or united Sikhs or or ranjit singh or who mm. was it well, we, we are very blessed in um, the, the legal cases. Yes, it does cost a lot of money and, mm. you know, we, we are in the red in a way. Wow. And we do expect the Sangat to support us because this charity, United Sikhs, is, is your charity. Mm. You know, it's in, it's in the name, United, mm. we're as one. And we, we always would like the Sangat's support, um, not just in donations, but as well as voluntary, Chief. so they can come and help us, because it is, it is a hard, hard job. So United Sikhs is, <coughs> is actually backed by grassroots Sikhs. Yes, um, yeah. And, and and that's why yes. and that's where you're fighting all the yeah. cases around Hanji. the world. Yeah, that's correct. Ah, interesting. Um, I know it's very, very important, but can we talk about the... The UN, earlier on this year, and it was live on, on the channel yeah. as well, and they overturned the decision that the, 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 the French government made. Um, is there any progress on that? Um, have France responded or has it responded in a positive way? Well, after, after we had the victory in January, um, we are still awaiting France's response on what they are actually going to do about this. So, okay, legally, Dorte, when, mm. when, we, when we talk about Ayunia uh, treating and rooting, mm. so the UN's made a decision. Yeah. How long does it take for a country then to respond? Um, or what was the. France were told um, to respond back to us in May, May 2012. So and have we back. heard anything? Um, at the moment, there hasn't been. Uh, response from France so I'm not sure if they're just trying to ignore the the issue and maybe we'll see what news we get today mm. and um, see if they're going to ignore it again mm. okay <coughs> uh, we also believe that <coughs> Ranjit Singh's he he health suffered a lot yes. during this um, the trauma of all this yeah uh, because uh, when we were actually out in um, in France in January um, you could just see from his physical state that mm -hmm. you know mm. he he is very ill now Mm. And one thing I actually, um, I rate him for, mm. he didn't give up. Yeah. And that that's, shows a very strong character. because a now warrior it, spirit. Yeah, definitely. And that's, that's the spirit we should all have in us. We yeah. shouldn't just be re removing our turban. It, mm. You know, it's something we don't remove. It's, it's, again, it's not just five, six meters of cloth. It's our crown. Mm. Mm. Thanks very much. Now, we will be going over to, 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 to France yeah. as soon as mm -hmm. we get um, any whiff Some of response, what's, what's any what's response. Happening. And uh, I believe that uh, we'll be talking to um, Shigara Singh. Yes. He's also uh, the director in uh, France, in yeah. France for United Six. And, of course, the, the lady uh, herself, <coughs> uh, Manjinder Pal. Yeah. And until we're actually waiting uh, for, for their mm -hmm. call. So, um, how about, um, you, you've got a very important document in front of you mm. as well. And, yeah. uh, you know, while talking to you uh, before we come into the studio, mm -hmm. I, I think it's very, very important that we actually share mm. some of it uh, with the Sangha. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Um, okay, so every day United, Rece United Sikhs receives um, requests from Sikhs around the world 
uh -huh. about struggles they're facing um, due to the star or some uh, a kakar issues such as your karpan or kara. Mm -hmm. like even this morning we I was okay. on the phone. Okay, uh, just stop you there mm -hmm. for a second. Mm -hmm. Which is the one that you get most complaints about? Mm. Have I you ever done a survey on, on, on that? Uh, we actually haven't, but I think maybe that, that is actually a good idea to do. Mm. But every day it's either like it, the star, mm. either it's Yikarpan. Okay. So those are like the two main... Two main ones. Yes, yeah. yeah. But I will actually look into that. Okay. It's a very so good carry idea. Carry on. Sorry to stop you. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. So, like I said, um, Sikhs around the world are always facing a struggle due to Kakars or we had the star. Like, even this morning we were on the phone to a lady in Italy uh -huh. who's having um, a bit of an issue. Mm. So, United Sikhs, we've actually been working on a document, um, a Civil Human Rights Global Report. Right. Which is available on our website. Okay. And um, you can actually download a, a PDF document, and it's a very important read. Mm. So I suggest that everyone does actually well, download it. Why don't you it. just show it to, uh, to everyone? Uh, <laughs> so www.unitedseeks.org, and there's a small link on the side of the website where you can download this. Mm. Um, our team, we worked endless hours to get this document together. Mm. Because I think in the UK, in the USA, in Canada, we've got such prominent figures there now whereby we've paid so much um, towards the country in like the structure, the infrastructure, like social, socially and economy wise, like mm. in the UK, 600,000 Sikhs is it? That's right, yeah. And you know, we play a strong role mm. for, the, for the country, mm. but there's also some countries whereby Sikhs are not getting perma permanent citizenship, okay. we're, not, we're not able to get places of worship, mm. children are being bullied at school, mm -hmm over there the star like such as france in january when we went there was a, a boy who was talking to me and he wasn't allowed to play football until he removed his the star okay so there's there's many issues going on so like i said if, if everyone can download this document mm. just have a read through it um, and it's unbelievable because you see how there's sikhs in countries that i never thought of such as kuwait mm. iran and mm. you know the, these sikhs are all struggling you know, <coughs> I, I, I would guess in the Middle East there's a lot of Sikhs mm. gone from Punjab to yes. work. Mm. But recent research tells me a lot of families are going over there yes. as well now. Yes, there is. There's, there's many families, but I think um, we don't realize their struggle until mm. they, they do get in touch with us and they're telling us, like such as um, in Pakistan right now where the Taliban um, beheaded um, Jaspal Singh's uh, father. So mm. that's another project that we are working on, mm. um, and due to again his 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 beliefs and his faith. So this this <coughs> uh, the the global Sikh civil um, rights report. Uh, human rights report mm -hmm. is it global? Uh, have you sort of sort of just gone around the world and yes, and, um, and this report took us I think maybe over a month to mm. compile, mm. and um, then it was launched at our. Um, a human rights conference in New York. Mm -hmm. So, facts and figures. Uh, I saw emails coming across from like the team around 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in the morning because mm. we worked so so many long hours to get this document together. Mm. So it is very very important. So <coughs> yeah, to the sangat, it's it's very important if they go onto the um, website website yeah. and and download this because yeah. it's it's. Um, Mm. It's a lot of information. Mm. I just uh, sort of skirted through it while, I, while we were coming mm. up and when you were showing me. I'm, mm. I'm quite fascinated, so I'll, I'm, I'm obviously going to do that, actually. Yeah. So, um, yeah, coming back to the case now, um, <coughs> your own personal view, what do you, which way do you think it's going to go? How do you think, you, do you think <coughs> you've done the work? Do you think you can convince, um, you've convinced mm. the, uh, the UN? Personally, hmm. um, I'm very positive. Okay. And a Sikh, Chadvikla, we, we, you know, no matter what, Sikhs always stay in Chadvikla, we never fall. Mm. So, you know, so my... Uh, we've got to remain positive. Yeah, remain positive, yeah. Oh, that's, that's the spirit. Um, we will be taking the calls, as we said, as soon mm -hmm. as soon as they, um, we get an inkling that they're going to talk to us, we'll put on Shigara Singh, uh, um, the director for United Sikhs, and also Benji Manjinder Pal, who's the legal director for United Sikhs. So until we wait for their call, is there anything else you would like to add on to, um, to the, um, topic, the um, um, 
the uh, right to turban campaign? Um, such as like this issue with Bikram Jeet Singh, how he was e expelled from school, mm. you know, because of his the star. Like we shouldn't be having to face issues like this. Mm. Um, like look at him um, the other day with Jitinder Singh. He's mm. going to be, you know, the guard at the Queen's door. Yeah, that's a, amazing that's a achievement. very amazing achievement mm. now. Um, you know, he's stuck to his guns mm. and, uh, you know, from from his background, I think he was um, working on a building site. Yes, in, in Birmingham. In Birmingham. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's uh, standing outside exactly. Buckingham Palace. So, or you know, these things, it's a, it's a great achievement for Sikhs. Mm. And, you know, these are the sort of stories we should be hearing, not not stories where we're hearing about uh, another Veed who's who's being discriminated against because of his turban mm. or, or, a, or a Penji. So, mm. you know. He's not the first Sikh, I believe, that's... Uh, actually stood outside but he's the first mm. Sikh with the, the star that's correct yeah. and um, looking at his picture in the in, in the mm. paper it makes you feel so proud yeah don't yeah. do they not say him uh, that's right so that's it's right, it's yeah. amazing to see that like you know from mm. so so far there's a there's one Singh standing mm. by the door with his the star do we think that you know <coughs> and whichever way it goes obviously if it goes the other way mm. the fight still carries on yeah. but if it goes in the seek uh, yeah. um, do you think it'll, it'll start rapid change in the schools in Punjab, uh, in, in in france or will they just be um not responding mm. as they didn't respond to the first one what do you, what do you think um I hope there is a response and, um, mm. you know, it will shake France up a bit, mm. you know, that we're, we're not just going to sit here, mm. you know, we're going to continue fighting. It's took over nine, nine odd years now. Mm. And, you know, we, we are not going to stop until we get justice. Is there something <coughs> that, uh, obviously United Sikhs are doing mm. this, but is there something that the, the, <coughs> the, the British Sikh um, population mm. in is there something that um, obviously you're leading it but mm. is there any ways that we can put pressure on on the French government through our mm. government have we sort of had an action mm. plan uh, to make them mm. um, you know you know enforce mm. the decisions or anything yeah, there's, like that? there's many ways to get involved like um, just writing to our MPs to tell them that this is who we are, mm. you know, we're Sikhs, this is our beliefs, this is why we wear the star, mm. and we're not going to continue tolerating, mm. like, this discrimination. Because mm. if, if it's happening in France, it could, it's going to continue into, like, the rest of Europe, and it actually is, like, look, in, look at the state of Italy, mm. you know, there's, mm. there's many issues that are happening in Italy that, again, um, it's not highlighted in the media at the moment, mm. but again, we'll watch this space. Yeah, all these uh, problems at the mm. airports and stuff like that. But you know, Jada, ek UN ni body ne mata pass kita that France has violated the rights of the Sikhs. Mm. Now, can we not take that back to the European Court and say, look, utto mm. utto hukam aya, mm. and, and to the European Parliament mm. because we're all a part of the European Parliament, yeah. and, and enforce something like that or no? Uh, but if you're in a if mm. you're in that group, European mm. Parliament, mm. Uh, then other countries like this country and other countries mm. should be able to push them into the right direction, you know? Yeah, definitely. But again, um, we need that support. Mm. You know, if. I'm just making an appeal for anybody out there who who is of a legal background to mm. to join us to help us and again like with the sangat as well to give us your support like okay. not only your blessings but as well as that like to yeah. to help us don't like yeah. through donations because mm. you know these legal cases you know when you're um going through solicitors for certain personal issues of your own or doing a business deal it's very expensive and you know we need that support Okay, um, <coughs> we've got the call coming in, and Jimmy uh, Kadwanke, <coughs> there's been a big Kaluke campaign for the last nine years. It's come to the the final verdict, and um, we will <coughs> be going over straight to France for that verdict right now. For the work that was started nine years ago, this month. This week, it was the week just before Christmas when it was announced uh, by the president then that they are considering a law whereby religious science will be banned in schools. In summary, the decision of the United Nations, which has been transmitted to us by email, and which just finished in English, is 
that the United Nations Human Rights Committee has given their opinion that France had violated Article 18 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, which is a covenant which protects religious freedom. The United Nations Human Rights Committee acknowledged that France had a right to protect laïcité, that laïcité principle is in the French Constitution, which is it's entitled to protect. What the UN Human Rights Committee said was, however, in the case of Vikram Deep Singh, there was no evidence that the French government produced that the wearing of his turban compromised laïcité for the reasons that they gave for passing the law. The reasons they gave were twofold. One is that there is a risk of disorder in schools because of the difference in identity, as there was at that time among certain communities. The second reason they gave was because of the interests of other people who uphold laïcité. The United Nations Human Rights Committee said that there was no evidence that the wearing of a turban compromised any of these competing rights, and therefore it held that while France is entitled to pass laws to defend laïcité, it must produce the evidence that the conduct of someone who wears a turban indeed interfered with the very lofty principle of laïcité. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh, you've heard of uh, Penji Manjinder Pal, you've heard what she had to say. Te Sikhaan Di Aaj Kailo Ke Jit Hoiya, Fateh Hoiya, and uh, Maharaj Ne Bahaut Jadi Kirpa Ki Tiya. But you know what, nine years ago, uh, oh sorry, year 2008, there was uh, one Sikh uh, stood stood out and he says, I'm not going to let this happen. I'm not Meri Dastar, I'm not Dastar Loni Nigi. He stuck to his Jada uh, Hokomia, Ke Sabat Surat Dastar Sera. So he's kept his, his, um, his, his faith intact. And you know what? It, it's been a long struggle. And long long struggle it's not shorty struggle in sigi but at the end of it you know justice has prevailed mm -hmm. so jithe jithe vi es ek apna sun rahe ho jithe jithe vi tusi sanu dekh rahe wherever you're watching sikho you know what stick to your gun stick to your faith stick to your articles of faith and and just don't give in because at the end evi kharya sada mara jallo testi ya so uh, i thank from the bottom of my heart, United Sikhs, but most of all, I thank them Surme who stood up when, you know, when all the odds were against them. So, like I mentioned earlier, every day United Sikhs is um, hearing stories of Sikhs struggling around the world. Hmm. And if anybody needs to get in touch with us, can you please email us at law-uk at unitedseeks.org or if you can call us on plus four four. 870-199-3328 so we can get get back in touch with you and yeah. um, by Sabji I think this victory I think it deserves a Jakarta Bole Sonehale Satsriyakale and on that note <coughs> just protect your khub teri pagdi mithe tere bol and in saying that Maharaj just said it all Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh